One in 10 Canadians report having an allergy to penicillin, a group of antibiotics used to treat serious bacterial infections. Denise Wilde was one of those people, says her husband Peter. She literally walked around with an EpiPen uh, her whole life and was allergic to almost everything. Almost everything. But after having life-saving surgery to remove cancer from her throat, Denise developed an infection. Penicillin was the only hope to cure it. Uh, the Sunnybrook research team that, that actually was able to show up um, on the spot and say, look, you know what, we, we, we think we got a fix for this. Okay, so we're going to start the, the testing now, which is just some intradermal injections. And this is the fix, bedside penicillin allergy testing. It involves a skin prick that, if tolerated, is followed by an injection and close observation. It's part of new Sunnybrook research that can determine within 30 minutes if there is an actual allergy by watching for signs like swelling. Dr. Jerome Lees led the study, a collaboration between allergy, infectious diseases and pharmacy experts. The majority of patients who report an allergy to penicillin likely could tolerate it if they received it. He says many people outgrow their allergy or may be able to receive the drug in controlled doses. In this multi-center study, bedside testing was offered to seriously ill hospitalized patients who have a penicillin allergy noted on their charts. Giving the right patient the right drug reduces antibiotic resistance and there are other benefits. So in addition to some of the more toxic side effects associated with alternate therapy to penicillins, also some of these alternative agents um, don't reach site of sites of infection that we know they need to get to to treat the infection. Peter and Denise urge others to get tested if they think they are allergic to penicillin. While this study was hospital-based, many outpatient clinics also offer testing. Um, it saved my life at the time, and it means now in the future, um, if anything happens and I require an antibiotic, it can be administered safely. I hope it allows other people who become ill to know that they have that option of an antibiotic. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.